the most guaranteed ways that you can lift the breast or enlarge the breast or reduce the breast hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer and for all of you that keep coming back hello and welcome back so in today's video i'm going to be talking about how to tighten sagging breast in five days how to do this magic and get your breast to go poof up like that how to you know how you can apply this mixture on your breast and then you wake up in the morning and your breast is gonna go poof you're gonna apply uh, petroleum jelly on your breast and you wake up in the morning and your breast is bigger you know how you're gonna apply aloe vera in three days and you're gonna get all your sagging boobs to go poof back up you know all of this videos i made one or two videos about how to how to i started getting a lot of um uh, people asking me how can i enlarge this how can i enlarge that how can i enlarge that now, now before i say anything else first thing first let me explain to you what our breasts are made of okay the breast is made up of fats ligaments milk ducts and glands fat we have fat in the breast you know that's why when you lose a lot of weight you lose weight on your breast as well and when you gain weight you will gain weight on your breast as well we have our milk dots as well we all know what the milk dots are the glands there's mammary glands and then we have ligaments and the ligaments are called the Cooper's ligament we have glands in the breast which we know extends all the way into your axilla which is the armpit and then we have the Cooper's ligament which is the connective tissue in the breast these ligaments help to maintain structure and integrity but they are thin bands and they are not strong they are not strong at all they play a role in supporting the breast in its normal position and maintaining its normal shape without the internal support of the ligament the heavy breast tissue sags losing its shape and contour so now that we know what the breast is what like what the breast is made up of think about it right there is fat and there is this tiny little ligaments and then we have the the glands milk dog so now that you know what the breast is made of can you tell me go can you take a minute and think when you apply this product on your breasts how do you think this product you put on your breast aloe vera whatever you put on your breast tell me how you think that is going to go into into the glands go all the way into the fat and go all the way there to go make it larger how is that even possible how how can these things you, your breast is now made, it's not about what is on the outside. Your breast, what is happening with your breast is happening on the inside. Aloe vera mixed with soda and mixed with this and mixed with that. How does that go into the glands to enlarge your breast? How does that go into the ligaments or does it go into the dots? How does that happen? It is not possible. Let me tell you what happens when you're pregnant. When you're pregnant, you can gain a lot of weight and fat as well. And that can enlarge your breast. The milk duct as well, they can get enlarged because they are filled up with milk. Let me put it this way. Let me put it this way, guys. There is nothing you can apply on the outside of your breast to make them bigger. If you doubt me, go and ask your doctor. If there was such a thing, believe me, it would be so universally available. It would be in bottles and it would be sold for thousands and thousands. I used to work in a theater and I have seen breast enlargement surgeries, breast augmentation, sagging breast being cut up and reduced, young girls being born with excessively large boobs and they come and they get it surgically reduced. I have seen things like that. If there was something you can apply to make it bigger, nobody would want to go lie down on an operating table to get themselves cut open to put silicone into it to get a breast bigger. But you know what? If you have tried it and you've applied whatever Coca-Cola or whatever on your breast and they got bigger, leave it in the comment section below and let people that are actually wanting to try it, try it and then come back and give us your answer. Give us your review. Give us your report. And I can tell you guys, it does not work. When it comes to sagging boobs, I am going to tell you the things that can make your breast sag. If you can find out what makes your breast sag, you can actually try to see if you can prevent it. And prevention, like they say, is always the best thing. If you have lost the fat in your breast, you can't apply something on your breast to bring the fat back into your breast. No. The Cooper's ligament is very, very tiny, thin ligaments. Once you damage them by whatever means, they become damaged. You can't just fix it by, by putting a cream on the... No. If anything happens to the milk, the milk duct, you have so much milk and then your milk is all gone. 
they're all gonna collapse the milk ducts are gonna relax because why you're done breastfeeding so applying something on your breast is not gonna fill up your milk ducts you know what happens when your breast is that it is stretched so much because of the milk ducts and all the fat and everything and then after you're breastfed you finish breastfeeding your baby after a year or two whatever everything goes down and then you find your breast then you know lose the elasticity from being expanded so much so now how do you prevent your breast from sagging so that should be the first thing you actually worry about is prevention you know because once it happens believe me uh, you're not gonna be applying anything on it to make it go back how do you prevent it if you're pregnant wear the best bras you can wear to support your breast properly because what happens is when you're pregnant you gain so much weight and your breast gets extended and then you have breast milk and all of that eventually your milk dots are gonna get enlarged so what happens at the end of the day is when all of that is done they all shrink back so then you lose all of that and that's why you find a very massive change in your breast when you're pregnant do not make the mistake of not wearing the right supporting bras wear the bras that would help support your breast because like i said the cooper's ligament actually very thin they are thin so if you really can try the, the right type of bra it's going to hold the breast up and support those ligaments even when you're breastfeeding for those of us that are african tying our wrapper on the chest that over time can actually put so much pressure on the ligaments and can sag the breast when you tie your baby on the back don't tie it right on top of your breast no don't tie it like that on top of your breast try and tie it a bit higher onto your chest you know times as you tie your baby and you're going around around the whole place the weight can fall down the way the, the the tie can actually come down and come down on your breast avoid that put it back up here where you have no breast you just like your chest and something else that's important as an african that ties baby on the back put your support on the baby's bum so when you put the extra support on the baby's bum what you're going to do you're taking you're helping to carry more of the weight up and prevent the weight on your when you need to lose weight do not lose your weight too quickly when you lose it too quickly what happens then is the body just everything just goes and you can lose the fat you have in your breast go exercising and stuff like that do not forget to wear the best supporting bras you can get make sure they are well supported if you don't support them properly the cooper's ligament can actually be affected because like i said they are very thin if when you're breastfeeding the milk fills up and the milk ducts boom and then you you breastfeed and it goes back you you fill up again you breastfeed it goes back it can weaken your ligaments that can happen, but that's why you need the best supporting bras. Be very careful about some vegan diets. There are some people that do only leaves, not even nuts, not even like beans and stuff like that. Where are you going to get fat in your breast from? You're going to lose all the fat in your body. The body can be depleted. The body can be depleted. We need a bit of fat, you know, in the body. Uh, something else we have to realize, regardless of whether you ever had a baby or whether you ever whatever, when you start to get old, it is it is common that your breast would sag some people are lucky it doesn't very rarely but most people it will sag even if you never had any kids because what happens is don't forget that when you get older everything gets weaker that is the nature of our bodies everything gets weaker and what happens when well, imagine all the ligaments and all the fats and everything you know a lot of people get lose a lot of fat when they're getting older that's part of aging and all of that everything starts to shrink and in the process it can actually you know cause the you know the breast to go down no cream not no cream nothing you can apply how do i explain this to you a breast that's already sagged sagged how can you apply something on it and poof it goes back up like i saw this video and this video said apply this thing in three days your sagging breast is going to go up and i was like how can people believe this thing how can i don't get it how can you believe that there are some guaranteed ways to bring the best breast back up there are some guaranteed ways to enlarge the breast and what are these ways i'm going to be honest with you and i'm going to say it's surgical it is surgical so people can tell you oh do this exercise and you're going to get bigger boobs you know whatever i don't know i'm not going to say too much about that but i don't personally do not believe that do you know why i tell you that most of the time when you exercise what you're exercising are muscles we don't have muscles in the breast we have muscles under the breast right you may exercise and get those muscles tough you can do that maybe you know what i mean the muscles can get tough but how much of breast enlargement that can do i don't know you know you find bodybuilders that have breasts that are basically solid like men's breasts but i don't want to think that's what you want you want a lady's breast that is soft and full 
the most guaranteed ways i'm not saying you should do it or you shouldn't do it but i'm just going to tell you what is the truth the most guaranteed ways that you can lift the breast or enlarge the breast or reduce the breast is surgically you can't apply anything on your breast and make it bigger it's not gonna happen and then if you don't believe me go try it out and you will come back and tell me that if it worked or not you know go and try it out put baking soda on your breast put seven up put coca-cola put whatever and come back and let me know if they worked so that's all i have to say like i said the best thing is to prevent it but the truth is when it happens the only guaranteed way to bring it back up is so breast implants or breast lifts you know another thing actually what they call fat transfer they can take fat from your back you know your love handles or your ties wherever you have excess fat and they will transfer them onto the breast so i just hope you find this video useful share this video with your friends do not let anybody deceive you i think that's all i have to say about this video thank you all for watching until the next time guys bye 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 it's goodbye friends and goodbye for